This is Carolina AM. Welcome back to Carolina AM. It's time for our monthly segment, Gluten-Free Recipes, right here on Carolina AM. Tori Adams, she's a producer here at WFXB, and she started this segment because of her own gluten-free recipe, her lifestyle she had to change when she was diagnosed with celiac disease. Yes. And today, we're cooking no-bake cookies. One of my favorites, Tori. Everybody makes them a little differently. How do you do yours? And voila, that's what they come out to look like. Very pretty. Do you want to try one? Uh, yes, you, of course you know I want to try one. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Don't tell my grandmother, but these might be the best. <laughs> when it comes to having Halloween guests over, what about those gluten-free people like Tori? And anybody who's just trying to cut the gluten? Well, Tori is here to help us out with that today. Tori, something pretty easy? Yeah, so super simple. Um, First, we have the puppy chow. When you say puppy chow, the first thing I think of is dog food. Dogs, right, yeah. But it's not. This is a fun human, just kind of a mixture. Also, if you're inviting guests to a Halloween party yes. who are gluten-free, you can also uh, always do a chip and dip because most chips are actually gluten-free. Gluten-free Halloween, dig in. Go ahead and dig in. Oops. Oh, there, that's pretty simple. Well, mine doesn't look as pretty as yours, but <laughs> our man on the strand, Tyler, is going to fuss at me for making <laughs> such a mess, but the messier, the, the better, right? Mm. Hmm. Good. I don't typically like butterscotch, but that's good. We are going to learn from Tori's experience. She brought in some granola the other day, and it was divine. I was like, this is so good. And she's like, well, that is gluten-free, and I handmade that. Tori, that looks so pretty, and I know it's good because I've already tried it out, but I think I'll have another go at it. Oh, thank you. Welcome back to Carolina AM. Tori, she is a producer here at WFXB. She is joining us now with another segment. She has lots of uh, gluten-free recipes for us. So your mac and cheese, I had a little sneak taste earlier. Delicious. Is that dish over there for me to have, Tori? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to test it out. Why don't we both have some? I like that. And then, so once it's done, you just set it out, sprinkle with some extra bacon if you want, or extra, extra cheese. Extra bacon and extra cheese on top. And oh, there you go. Thank ma you very much. Well, let's give it another try. Oh my goodness. Good. I, huh? Yes. I love the bacon crunch. Mmm. Delish. Today on Cut the Gluten, I'm joined by Tori Adams. She's one of our producers right here at FXB, and she's going to show us how to make a simple side dish. Well, simple for her. It's called Italian green beans. And Italian green beans, I mean, what is Normal that? Normal Italian green beans is just green beans, but they have um, panko breadcrumbs on them. However, the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. I can't have because of the celiac disease. So right. instead, we do have the gluten-free. Uh, we have the Ian's and we have the SARS. Gotcha. Um, and those are the two that I found the most similar to actual breadcrumbs. Okay. We are busy here and in, in the studios. We're making a gluten-free recipe. Tori Adams, she is one of our producers here at FXB. It's the monthly segment, Cut the Gluten. And so she is here to show us how to have a gluten-free brownie waffle. Now, it seems you can make just about anything in a waffle maker these Pretty days, much. Tori. So what is the key to this gluten-free brownie waffle? It looks like a, a cake. I just used four eggs. I used a half cup of oil and okay. a half cup of water, and then whatever brownie mix that you want to use. Okay, so the key is to get the gluten-free brownie mix. Yes. And I, you chose just a generic brand, the great value. Two dollars at Walmart and can't beat it. You yeah. can't beat that. We are making game day meatballs gluten-free today. And who's gonna show us how to do that? Tori Adams, she's a producer right here at FXB and she is our go-to when it comes to all things gluten because she studied this and she learns how to make everything into a gluten-free recipe. Right. Tori, so I'm so glad you're bringing the game day. <laughs> game day <Woo> <laughs> How do you, seems pretty easy, is it? It's very easy. All, it's, all it is is three simple ingredients. Um, you have a bag of the gluten-free meatballs. You have okay. a can of jelly cranberry sauce. And then you have a bottle of Heinz um, chili sauce. That is all? That's it. 
Welcome back to Carolina AM. We are making game day meatballs gluten free today. And who's going to show us how to do that? Tori Adams. She's a producer right here at FXB and she is our go to when it comes to all things gluten because she studied this and she learns how to make everything into a gluten free recipe. Right. Tori, so I'm so glad you're bringing the game day. <laughs> game meatballs. <Woo> <laughs> how do you Seems pretty easy, is it? It's very easy. All, it's, all it is is three simple ingredients. Um, you have a bag of the gluten-free meatballs. You okay. have a can of jellied cranberry sauce. And then you have a bottle of Heinz um, chili sauce. That is all? That's it. Okay. So you're literally we'll going to it. put the meatballs in the crock pot. Okay. And when you said the meatballs, just the entire bag? The entire bag. Okay. Yep. Then you're going to add a can of cranberry sauce. The whole thing. The entire thing. And the entire bottle of chili sauce. Ooh, I never would have thought that cranberry sauce would be in the meatballs. Well, I gotta tell you, Tori has been cooking this um, for several hours here at the station and it <laughs> smells so delightful. I can't wait to it's even crop try it. Meal. It's so the crop pot. Perfect. Yes. Um, so it's on high for four hours, and oh, then okay. basically you do it during kickoff, and you'll be able to eat it third quarter, and then it'll be ready for the next game, and then the next game, yeah. <laughs> and maybe even some leftovers. Now, can you double this recipe? You could, uh, depending on the size of the crock pot. Um, I used one bag of meatballs here. This one actually is two bags. Um, but then you're going to want a quarter or half the sauce oh, in the uh, Okay, sauce. so if you do double just one and then one quarter of each. Correct. Gotcha. Okay. Now when it comes to rice, I, I didn't realize this, Tori, that rice is gluten free. Rice is gluten free. Noodles are not gluten free. Okay. So you can do anything over, over white rice, jasmine rice, brown rice. It doesn't matter. So what would, in a normal, uh, typical meatball setting, at restaurants, what makes it full of gluten? Would it be so? The normal crust? meatballs does have uh, do have breadcrumbs in them. Yeah. Um, so these ones do not. Okay, so that's you want to make sure that they are uncrusted meatballs yep. that you put into the crock pot. And this particular ones, you want to look and for that. It says brand. it right on the label. It says. Oh, does it say gluten free? Yeah. Thank you, Tori. <laughs> I did not see that earlier. All right. Well, pretty simple. Three ingredient gluten free meatballs for game day. What are you pulling Woo. for? Oh, the Steelers for sure. <laughs> well, I'm going local. Go Carolina Panthers. Yeah. All right. Well, Tori, it's always a pleasure. Thank you for bringing this to us for game day. Not a problem. And you stay tuned. There's a lot more coming up right here on Carolina AM. Go Panthers.